Good morning from sunny Shotton. It would almost seem that I'm back on the Borderlands line once again. This is a line that I began exploring a long time ago. Well, I say long time, it's like a year and a half ago, but nonetheless, I think it's about time I return to the line and finish what I started. So, as you can see, I'm currently at Shotton Station and we're going to begin the day not by getting a train out of here, but by beginning with a slight bit of a walk. Now, I've already visited Bidston, Upton, Heswall, Neston, Shotton and Penneforth in various other videos, so go check them out if you want. This video will be the remainder of stations on the Borderlands line. So around a 10 minute walk from Shotton Station down this path here is Harden Bridge Station, the line's only request stop. The station did only see a few trains a day, although very recently it was changed so that every single service now calls at Harden Bridge Still on request, but every service now is possible to stop there. So that improvement, along with the fact that the Borderlands line now gets a service every 45 minutes as opposed to every hour since I was last here, has made this line a whole lot nicer to visit the stations on. So I've come back once again, and let's begin at Harden Bridge. So here we are at Harden Bridge. Why is the departure board so high up off the ground? Uh, sure. Flagging the train down is going to be interesting, given that it's curved around there. I guess it's just going to have to come through, like, really slowly or something. Well, it ain't a 230, but it's definitely a big step up from a 150. So, Harden Bridge. Nice. I love using request stops, they're really fun. So next up on today's plan is Buckley Station. We'll be there in about two stops time now, since we've just left shop. Wonderful. How nice. Well, we're going back immediately the other way, so uh, let's cross over. Don't know if it's just me, but the platforms here feel a lot shorter than the likes of the stations I'm into before, like Upton, Heswell, Neston, Shotton, the likes. Also, the upcoming train I'm getting from here is two coaches, meaning it's not going to be a 2.30. I'm avoiding them again. Although, the next train on that platform going that way is three coaches, so it will be a 2.30, and I am catching that service after I go back to Harden next. So, yeah, we won't be avoiding them for much longer. <laughs> Lots of these stations I've noticed as well only have barrow crossings between the platforms and no bridges or whatever. And I have given myself a three minute connection in my plan today. That might have been slightly short-sighted on my part. No, no train, no. The, the next stop is not Wrexham General. What? <laughs> Alright, here's Harden. That's another one done. Alright, well this station's actually got a bridge. That uh, gives me slightly more hope. Oh god, I'm just reading on my phone now. Uh, apparently there's been some huge worldwide IT outage. There's apparently disrupted like airlines and websites and apparently some trains. I, I, I don't think that's disrupting me, but oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always thought Harden was a lot larger of an area. But no, it's basically just a regular old village, huh? It seems as well that a lot of these stations used to be sort of like junction stations or used to be stations where lines would converge. Stations like Harden Bridge, Buckley and Gwessicht all used to have a lot of lines converging onto them, but not Harden. A bit weird I'm talking about this at Harden, which isn't the case, but yeah. Quite a lot of the stations here used to have a lot of lines connected to them, but not anymore. <laughs> Oh, 
First 2.30 of the day. Marvellous. I, I still continue to just love these trains for some reason. Old tube train that they converted into a modern feeling train. It's like... It just fascinates me. Good lord, the driver floored that. I could really feel the acceleration. <laughs> and the train coming out of the station. Good lord. We've left Buckley again, and the next stop on the line is Penneforth, although I have actually already been to Penneforth in a video um, when I went, uh, it's, I think it's one of my most popular videos, when I went to uh, Edale for reasons that you'll understand if you watch that video. So we're not doing Penneforth today, we're carrying on to Kairgul. Kairgul? Gurl? Gurl? Welsh spelling is confusing. Ah, I see, it's Kairgul. Kairgul. Sure. Well, we're at Kairgul now, so we now have to go on a slight bit of a walk. So the nice thing here is that the three stations, um, Hope, Kairgul and Kefnebeth, are all very, very walkable between each other. So here, at this station, rather than wait about 40 or so minutes, I may as well just walk down to Kefnebeth, one stop down, and get the next train back up. It'll save me a bit of time. Something I want to talk about while I'm walking is that buying tickets today has been a complete nightmare. For, for the day I'm doing right now, I've been trying to buy a, as it's advertised, a two-zone North Wales Rover. Uh, just, well, it's a day ranger, but they call it a Rover. Um, so I can, you know, come up and down the Borderlands line with only worrying about one ticket. But the ticket office at Warrington, and even a guard on the Transport for Wales train, couldn't find a two-zone North Wales Rover. They could only find the all-zone version. So that was weird. I'm having to use, like, a lot of singles and returns. And also, I'm trying to buy them now, but I have no phone service here for some reason. So it's all just... it's all just a complete nightmare. Ah, oh, wonderful. Kefnebeth. Don't think we're far now. Here we are. Kefnebeth. Perfect, here we are. So, I don't know if you've guessed, but after this we are going to Hope Station, where unfortunately I have given myself a three minute connection. So, uh, yes, it's running on time right now, so I hope <laughs> hope. Hope I can make it. That's gonna be nice. Oh, so I'm gonna be offset by 45 minutes for the whole plan, which would mildly suck. Honest to God, I dressed for, you know, the typical, you know, grim kind of cold weather we've had all this summer. And then, nope, nope, today it's gonna be like sunny 27 degrees. I mean, typical. All right, well, off to hope now, and I hope that I can make this hopeful connection. Just to maximize any chances I have of making it, I've come to the rear of the train because this is the end of the station that the Barrow Crossing is on at Hope. I checked and unfortunately Hope has a Barrow Crossing, so, oh dear. Oh, I see. Um, Maps is outdated. There's no longer a barrow crossing. Okay, I guess I've got to go down here now. Not sure if the running is quite necessary because I have about three minutes and we did arrive on time, but still. Yeah, this whole passageway looks really quite new. I'm guessing it's quite recent they removed the barrow crossing and put this in. Yeah, you can absolutely see that there used to be a barrow crossing there but it has since been removed. I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Now, running may not have entirely been necessary, running between the platforms at Hope, but 
it's going to probably be necessary now because this train we're taking to Wrexham Central and I'm intending to run to Wrexham General right. to catch the same train going oh, back on. Yeah, they have about a three minute yeah. turnaround. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I've got about Someone's six or seven there. minutes to do a nine minute yeah. walk. Hope it goes well. Yeah. Alright, take it easy. Yeah. Wrexham General Platform 4, I believe, used to be its own station called Wrexham Exchange. Like, Wrexham General and Exchange were two separate stations, but Wrexham Exchange got absorbed into Wrexham General as Platform 4 instead at some point. So, we're pulling into Wrexham Central now. Time to run to Wrexham General. Let's hope I make it. Wrexham Central just deposits you in a retail park. It's so weird. It's a very odd central station. Okay, admittedly, I don't think I need to rush as much as I thought I might because we actually pulled into Wrexham Central three minutes earlier than timetabled. So it might not be that bad. All right, well, it's 10.40 now when the train was meant to arrive into Wrexham Central. And I'm already, like, more than halfway there. So I don't think I uh, really needed to rush as much as I thought. Yeah, I really think I underestimated how much time I'd have. I could have walked that. I'm here with like four minutes to spare as well. Train crew are gonna be so confused seeing me here now. <laughs> so that's all that done. Only one station remains, and that is Gressift. And now finishing at Gwessift, that is the Borderlands line complete for me. Cool, so finally, after all this time, I've finally finished every station on the Borderlands line. Wonderful. So, yeah, wonderful day to finish it on too. It's lovely and sunny. So, thank you for watching. I'm glad all the, uh, all the plan worked out. Kind of, kind of, kind of a shame it did all work out because, you know, if it goes a bit wrong, it adds a bit more drama, makes it a bit more interesting, but no. Everything went to plan. Still, it's nice when a plan comes together. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. And a warm welcome to my new standard premium members, Jacob and Flo. Thank you for supporting the channel.